Good afternoon and welcome back to the Armchair Warrior. If you're coming to us today from Facebook, we encourage you to like and follow. If you're checking us out on YouTube, we encourage you to like and subscribe. It's free. And if you happen to like what you see, please share it with a friend. If you are new to the Armchair Warrior channel, the purpose in this channel is to encourage those with disabilities to get out of the house, to think out of the box, and to try something new. Today's episode is going to be on Little League Baseball. My grandson Branson, who is six years old, is currently playing coach pitch. My son Ryan is the head coach of this team, and I am very fortunate to be able to be an assistant coach on this team. So I'm very excited about that. Today, Ryan and Branson are going to be with us. Ryan is going to do a hitting lesson uh, for the Little League age. We're going to break this thing down, try to keep it very simple for the um, younger student, the younger ball player. Uh, now keep in mind that the baseball swing and the softball swing is exactly the same. Unless the girls are slapping, it's the same swing. So this, all this stuff will apply to both baseball and softball. Hope you enjoy. All right, today we're gonna to do a hitting lesson. Uh, joining us today is my son, Ryan, and my grandson, Branson. So uh, we're gonna get right to it. Okay, Ryan, as we step into the batter's box, what's, our, what's the first thing on our mind as we get into the batter's box? We wanna make sure you get in the correct stance. Um, break it down into a couple things. We wanna work on our feet, uh, our hands, and then get everything loaded back with our weight on our back leg. Um, Starting with our feet, we want to make sure everything's in a straight line to the pitcher. Uh, if I was to set this bat down uh, from toe to toe, it's pointing back towards the pitcher's mound. Uh, everything is, is in line from where the pitch is coming from. Uh, right now, I got a line on the floor. That's what I'm using. I got both of my toes on this line, uh, making sure that everything's square. Um, next, you want to make sure you got a wide base. Uh, all of your weight, lean back on this back leg. A little bit of bend in both legs just to be in an athletic position, be able to move around. Um, now, I see a lot of major league players with their stance extremely open. Show, show me that position. And I, um, I've even noticed you do it in, in softball. Yes. Yeah, so what's, what's the purpose in doing that? You can get more power moving, moving transferring all your weight um, all at one time. But, but really, to begin with, to, to keep everything simple, uh, you just want to keep everything in a straight line. If you start here, um, then you're already in that position as all of these major league guys or, or even my, my softball swing, as you said. Um, I am still stepping, but whenever I'm stepping, everything is still ending up in this same position that you guys are starting in. So, so it's you, just making it, it's taking out one, one other factor that could throw you off if you step way out and it throws your shoulders open. Uh, you're losing power, not able to reach that outside pitch. Uh, it's just keeping it simple and making it a little bit easier to make contact for the, the little league guys. That makes Okay, so we're in the batter's box. Uh, we've got our feet square, pointing towards the pitcher. We're in an athletic position with our knees bent a little bit. Now let's talk a little bit about the grip. Uh, the next thing you want to focus on is your hands, lining up your, your knocking knuckles, as I call them. Um, imagine knocking on a door, whichever knuckle is hitting it, you're not knocking with these, the big knuckles at the base of your fingers, the ones in the middle here. Um, that's the finger or the knuckles that I want lined up. Uh, put both of your wrists back a little bit. Um, the reason for that, a normal, just the, the average person when you grab a bat what feels comfortable is is like this right here um, you got knocking knuckles versus the the very back knuckles lined up and the reason we don't do that whenever we swing uh, and this is a little exaggerated but when i'm in the zone right here i can make contact here and right after contact my hands have to roll over so if i don't hit the ball right here if i'm a little bit out front this bat is rolling over and i'm i'm going right over the top of that ball uh, with your knocking knuckles lined up, with your wrist back, you're in the zone longer back here, and I can follow through all the way up to this point, where if I hadn't hit it back here, I'm not hitting it before my, my wrists roll over. It just keeps you in the zone longer and uh, gives you a little more fire on, on your wrist whenever you go to the ball. All right, so we've got our feet lined up. We're in a square position. Uh, we're in an athletic position with our knees slightly bent. Our knocking knuckles are lined up. Now, where do we want our hands. What's our hand position and our bat positioning? We want our hands up high, back behind our ear. Uh, we don't want this arm to be be real bunched in real close here, but we also don't want to get that bar arm where it's making a long, slow swing. 
Um, 90 degrees, maybe a little more open is pretty comfortable. Uh, right up, up high above your ear, back behind your head. Um, we want the bat pointing directly behind us. Uh, a lot of times, Little League, either the kids start right way down here, and then they have no power to just push the ball. They're swinging just all armed, and it's not going to go anywhere. You're not getting any core or legs or anything involved. Uh, you're strictly just kind of punching at it and hoping for the best. Um, the other thing we see Little League people do is, is they're way up here, but their shoulders are turned and their bat's pointing back to the pitcher like this. Uh, well, you can't make eye contact, or you can't see uh, the ball coming at you with, with both eyes. Um, me personally, I'm right eye dominant. Uh, my right eye is what I'm going to focus on that ball the most with. And whenever I wrap up and point my bat towards the pitcher, if I close my left eye, I can't see that ball on the tee right now. Um, so you keep your shoulders square, uh, weight back, hands up high, and whenever you load, you're wanting to load back this way. Uh, we're not wanting to load around to the side or anything, creating that long swing or making it harder for, for us to keep our eye on the ball and, and make contact. All right, so we've got a feet in a athletic position pointing towards the pitcher. Our knocking knuckles are lined up. Our bat is up and back. We're in a comfortable position. We can see the pitcher and the ball with both eyes. The ball's coming. What's our, what's our process from here? So once you've loaded up and this heel on the front leg uh, plants again, um, first thing you're doing is taking this bottom hand, your left hand if you're right-handed, um, directly to the ball, just like this. Um, we don't want to have anything dropping our back shoulder or anything swinging up, creating pop flies. Uh, we also don't want to chop straight down at it like we're chopping wood, beating everything in the ground. Um, we want to come hands directly to wherever the ball's at. This one's about waist high. That's exactly where my hands are going right here. Um, my hips are starting to open up at this point. This back leg is driving into the ground, squishing the bug here. And then everything is firing out front and I'm firing my hands, making contact and extending through the zone. Um, notice whenever I finish, my weight is in the center of my body or toward the back of my body. Um, I'm not finished way out front out here where all of my, we my weight has transferred to my front leg. We want to keep our weight back and, and really drive this back knee into the ground. Spin this back foot hard and, and keep your weight back and that'll engage your hips, your legs and everything. And uh, we're going to get some power behind it. All right, show me an example of what happens if we're not squishing the bug. If you don't turn that back foot what, what are we losing we're obviously losing yeah, power we, we lose all power when that back foot stays the same if you're not if you're not turning your hips hard um, and that back, back foot's not not rotating not squishing the bug then then you're not getting any legs or core or anything engaged you're swinging all arm so you're here just kind of swinging swinging at it flagging at it just trying to make some contact and we're not going to ever hit the ball hard uh, consistently anyways all right you talked something about uh, firing your hands um, show me an example of exactly what you're talking about on, on firing your hands. All right, so after you've taken the knob of the bat to the ball, we're here. Our, our uh, hips and shoulders are fixing to start rotating. Uh, the last step to make contact, our bat's still back. Um, last step to make contact and our, our final uh, force that we can put to the ball to get some extra velocity off of it uh, is our hands. So we're here and we're firing our hands like, we're, like you're beating something with a hammer. I mean, you're just just driving your hands towards the ball and then following through on a, and extending up high. All right, talk me through the steps as you get ready and let's see you hit one. All right, so getting in the batter's box, first thing we're checking is our feet. Everything, our feet, we're not flared out or flared in. We want everything straight line, uh, legs wide, um, point, pointing in a straight line to the pitcher. Uh, bend this back knee a little, knee a little bit, uh, get, get our weight back, line up our knocking knuckles. Hands high, back behind my ear. We're focusing on hands to the ball, firing our hands and extending through, keeping our weight balanced and in the center of our body, we're leaned back. Uh, we don't wanna see our weight going up front all on this back leg and, and make sure this back leg is driving uh, our knee into the ground, trying to squish the bug hard. Nice balanced position, weight over the center of his body. All right, we're going to try another angle here, let you see what it looks like from the back side. Feet in a straight line, athletic position, weight back, knocking knuckles, hands high. 
And that's what we're looking for, folks. grandson Branson try his crack at it a few times. Not bad. Need to squish that bug a little more. All right, so we've talked a little bit. We've got the weight on the inside of our balls of our feet. And let's see if we can't squish the bug just a little bit better this time. See if we can stay in a, a balanced position after we're done. Much better, much better. All right, we're gonna try a different angle this time. See what we can come up with. See if we can stay balanced and squish that bug. Very nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully learned a little bit. We tried to keep it extremely simple for the little league player, break it down as simple as we possibly could, just to the basic fundamentals of the game. Obviously, the older you get, the more complicated the swing gets. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoyed that, please share that with someone that you may know who needs a little encouragement to get out of the house or to anyone you know with a youth, uh, either boy or girl that's playing youth sports. And until then, my name is Rick Layton, and we'll see you next time on the Armchair Warrior.